We're here again. So we're gonna be talking about? We're gonna be talking about Black Widow. Yes, we are Geek by Heart. I am Lainey, and he I is. I am JJ. With the news today. Oh shit, go on the mic, let's go. No, I don't wanna. I don't oh, wanna, now you're scared. I don't wanna kill now you're scared. I don't wanna kill it. All right. All right, so, uh, well, you know, today we're gonna be talking about Black Widow. Um, our own personal opinion about mm-hmm. the movie itself, because of course everyone has their own issues of the movie, or maybe not, or maybe not. But um, you know, we're gonna be talking about it today. All right. So, like, share, subscribe. Let's get it. Characters. The characters. Let's the characters. get into it. Yeah. At first, I'm gonna tell you off the ch- off the bat, Yelena was awesome. I agree. Yelena was Absolutely. the star of the movie from start to finish. Florence Pooh did her cute, did her thing. Yep. And uh, I, I mean, I mean, Natasha was good. Yes. You know, you know Scarlett was good. And you knew she was gonna be I good. I prefer Yelena. Her character was. Like vivid, it was like there. She was like ready to to throw hands. She was ready to to buy, you know go out there and and, and start start chaos. And and I like that. You know what? Um, first off, I think that they did at least a really good job mm. of passing the tor- the, the, the torch, torch. Mm. because you could tell that even though this was a Black Widow movie for Natasha, this was really a Black Widow movie for Yelena. Mm. And I feel like the one thing that encompasses encompasses that all is when Yelena was talking about the poses yeah. and then like she tried she ended up doing you know and even though she was like eh, I don't like it but <laughs> she tried it and I'm like I think that that encompasses like this is going to be a passing of the torch and I think we knew that mm-hmm. you know what I mean yeah I think we knew that that's but that's a good that's a good that's a good move for I, I'm for, not gonna lie I actually that. liked Yelena because she was she acted like a little sister I'm a little mm-hmm. sister mm-hmm. so she acted like a little sister she acted like a little bratty and things of that mm-hmm. nature and you know I know that has something to do with her being the new black widow or supposedly, hopefully, we'll see. You know what I mean? But I just, I like that about it. Yeah, definitely. And of course, I, I, I can say the same. I can't say the same with Taskmaster. How mm. they used him in the movie or used her in the movie. Or lack um, thereof to me. Or lack thereof. Yeah. Because I was thinking yeah. that Taskmaster is going to be the main villain. And he wasn't. He, she. she wasn't. Sorry. <laughs> she wasn't. She was basically... The, the 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 second in command for the villain. Yeah, she was basically. an afterthought. She, she was, was totally an afterthought. Yeah, she was basically a, a zombie, so to speak. Mm-hmm. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? So you you can call her a villain, but not really a villain. And no, honestly, you know Drake off. He was a, he was the villain, but I mean, at the same time, it's just like he didn't, eh. he didn't grab my he didn't grab my attention. He, he, he grab me. thank you. He wasn't captivating at all, mm-hmm. but that's also because he had less screen time as well. Yeah. Like he really was like an explanation dump. Mm. You know what I'm saying? At the end. Because mm. you really didn't see him. Mm. I know you weren't supposed to because he was dead. Mm. But we all knew the setup. Once they were like they kept on talking about him being dead and that Natasha killed a kid. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You you already knew that that was gonna come back and haunt you, and yeah. just so happened it, it just did. so happened it did. So Red Guardian, Red Guardian, um, he didn't, he didn't. I think he was irrelevant in the movie. Just saying, uh, you know. It, I mean, it, it's like you'd have to like visit a whole backstory on him or try to figure out what his motives were or you know why why was what why was he the red guardian in the first place because i i didn't see anything of him that i would preferably you know kind of glorify basically so i, I, I don't know. think you're supposed to because again this was about yelena and this was about natasha That's true. 
I, I don't think you're supposed to have that much backstory on Melina and Alexi. You, you know what I mean? Mm. So I get what you're saying, but like this wasn't about them. So I was actually glad that they didn't put all this backstory into who the Red Guardian was or whatever. Mm. Now, what I will say is based on the marketing, I do get what you're saying because mm. the marketing makes it seem as if he's going to have a lot more to do with the story and possibly you would be hearing more about Red Guardian because they just hyped <laughs> up that suit, you know, in the marketing. But mm. in the final product, I was okay with it. It was it was fine that they didn't really talk about well, it like to, that. To me, I, you know, I, I think I, I, my hope, my only thing about the Black Widow is basically I was hoping to see um, strength from each of the characters, from Yelena, mm -hmm from um red garden and from um natasha i was hoping to see that but it, it was watered down because it seemed like they were like basically in a spy situation and and all of that so i disagree and i i hear you i disagree i'm okay with the fact that they focus on yelena and natasha and that's, that's, i ain't that's even mad at it yeah I, I, I'd, I'd prefer see a lot more inclusion of all three of them um with more emphasis on natasha um, so that we can get a, a more close, a more closer feeling to each character, a more em so that we can embrace them for any future projects that they probably might be going into. But you know, that's that's just my thinking. Um, okay. Since uh, this movie, Black Widow, it's it's like basically a old a old addition to the franchise. Mm -hmm. um, but what is going to be happening after the franchise? Are we going to be seeing um, uh, Red Red Guardian again? Mm. Are we going to be seeing Elena again? Now that's a so that's if, great if question. So if that be the if that be the task of in, including them well, we know we're gonna within see the Elena. movie, yeah, we know that. But within the task of including those three characters in the movie, are we going to be seeing them in future projects? That's you know so what. That's, so that's why I'm saying that. You know, I, I didn't feel like embracing Red Red Guardian. I mean, I think he was just there to be there, and uh, you know, I can I can embrace Yelena more because she was like a little sister, as you said. You know, we and she was a badass fighter. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. we, I was I'm I'm actually hoping to see her more in in other future thing other than Red Red Guardian. I hear you. Mm. I hear you. Yeah. Um, I was going to say that if you look at a lot of the MCU movies, mm -hmm. at the very least, the sidekick always has some kind of role to play in future movies. Mm -hmm. um, now, if you look at it as a team, not, not a team up, well, yeah, you, yeah, you look at it as a team, a team up, up. Yeah. then maybe we might see the whole crew in future ones. We don't know. Mm -hmm. Again, we definitely know Yelena. We're going to see her. We're probably going to see her in Hawkeye. Like we definitely know we're gonna see Elena, right? Based mm. on the end credit scene, but well, we'll talk about that later. But you know, uh, I, I hear you. Yeah. But again, I personally was okay with it just really being focused on Elena and Natasha because that was going. To, you definitely know that it was going to be the future of what's going to happen, especially obviously Elena. One of the most pivotal parts of Black Widow movie is the action scenes. Of course. And I know that a lot of people didn't like the action scenes the fight scenes so to speak um yeah, i had a love hate it, relationship it, with it you know and it's so funny because uh black widow was supposed to be like a hand-to-hand -hand combat type of person uh however we didn't see much of those hand-to-hand -hand combat well we see it but it was too close the camera work the that camera is, true. is that is so true it's just if black widow had gotten like a um a fighting choreography like like say jason bourne mm -hmm. That would be awesome. I don't I think it think was. The, that would be awesome. I don't think when they were fighting, I don't think it was the choreography that was happening. It was the camera work. Yeah, it's the like camera it was, work. It was way, like we were in an IMAX theater mm. way in the back. So we should not have had any problems seeing the mm. action. Mm -hmm. And it felt dizzying because it was just so limited. Mm. So I don't think to me it was the choreography that got me. I think it was more of the filming. Yeah, now, yeah. with that being said, if we're going to talk about the action scenes, I feel like it's definite. well, it's been. So mm. I shouldn't say that. Mm -hmm. But I feel like this movie, for some reason, it felt more Fast 9-ish. Where mm. it was like, there was... She got jumped. Mm -hmm. Like Black Widow got 
jumped. You ain't seen no kind of bruise, no nothing. Matter of fact, you saw more of a bruise or more of a, a problem with her nose when she banged it to, mm. to break it mm. than when she got jumped, getting well, don't hit the in the effect. face, well, getting hit everywhere. Effect. Yeah, you don't see the full effect of what those bruises Exactly, and you saw Scarlett Joe. You didn't see Black Widow because Scarlett Joe still had her makeup on. Yeah. I was like, really? Like, <laughs> can we make it a little bit like ugly? Realistic. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Literally don't have much to say about uh, Black Widow because as I tell you, I personally liked it. I mm. didn't have an issue with it. Um, I think the direction of the movie was was practically what, what I was expecting. Um, you okay. know, that fast paced action um, and some a little bit a little bit of storyline towards um, um, Natasha. And uh, you know everything just fall into place into what her background was mm -hmm. because she you know, remember she came into Iron Man I think it was Iron Man two mm -hmm. yeah she came into Iron Man two and she just came out of the blues you know it's like okay who's this chick and then she started fighting people like oh, oh. Shit. you know and then realize and that's only if you didn't know who it was black exactly right? so now you get to. <laughs> understand where her background is from what her lineage is from and what her background entails in terms of being an assassin spy whatever the case is i you know what we're just going to be on opposite ends on this because as a movie itself mm -hmm. i i will agree with that like i didn't have too much to beef about mm -hmm. my beefs are small it didn't take away from me enjoying the movie mm -hmm. The expectation, however, to me felt way short. I didn't want to go to see a movie about a family drama. I knew that it was going to happen, but I was hoping that they were going to go more into the background in, in the depth. Red Room mm -hmm. and possibly even be a prequel slash up to date something. Like maybe the first hour was about her going through the Red Room. Mm. various um, flashbacks or whatever the case may be. And then the next hour, hour and a half or whatever, it was about her taking down the Red Room. That to me would have been a more compelling um, compelling film. Mm -hmm. What we got was basically a, a family drama and a little, a little sprinkle of Red Room and virtually no widows. Mm. Like we saw- and In the last portion of the movie, you see the Red Widows. And with that being said, mm. they was only about the fighting. It wasn't even about anything about really really about the widows mm. so i'm like eh, yeah that's what so that's this wasn't what, needed. That's, what that's what i said though because from the trailer that i saw I, I i didn't see much of her going through um the red room or, right or her presence in the red room it's with her and her sister on the run and everything and so right right there and then i'm thinking that they're probably running away from from taskmaster mm. so there wasn't any perspective of them are them training from their from their a, a kid from they were a kid coming up whatever the case is what disney did was they show like small um skips of of, of, of footage within the beginning of the movie so that you can see the stages of how black widow was um you know being in the red room and how she got herself involved as a black widow i mean, you know I mean? that was so scant mm. it literally was about them getting drugged and then taken away and then yeah, next thing you knew crazy. so i'm like that's what i'm saying they should have had they should not have flash forward so quickly to that they mm. should have took time and gave us what that shit was about mm. you know what i'm saying because like especially if you are not a fan like la femme nikita or whatever like i i can think of it that way mm -hmm. you know what i mean if you have watched la femme nikita whether it be the original series or the cw series either way you can understand what i'm talking about but still mm -hmm. we want to see it through marvel's <laughs> eyes yeah. and i think that that was a great opportunity for us to see and mm. they robbed us of it mm. like now the post credit scene like where are we going with this because yeah. you saw contessa valentina right again and so you know she's gonna be up in the mcu like exactly that. exactly and mm -hmm. like obviously we know who she is now because of the faculty and winter soldier mm -hmm. however had Black Widow came out when it was supposed to, we wasn't. We would not known that. We would have seen Julia Lewis Dreyfus, and we were like, "Like, who's that?" Mm. You know what I mean? But now, because we already know, it's like, "Oh, okay." And the fact that she's gonna go after Clint Barton, like, mm. I think that's gonna be another team up because remember that Clint Barton' daughter 
yes is gonna be involved in it yes so that can be another set well we already have um yelena we have the agent US john, agent, Wa- john walker yeah, john mm-hmm. walker and then we probably might have I, i'm wondering though is this gonna be another set of avengers a new like a young avengers there to speak I don't think they're gonna put John Walker on Avengers though. I can see Elena possibly. Mm. I don't think John Walker's gonna do it. But, but let's see. Let's see, because that, that would be interesting. That, yeah, that, that would, would be, be interesting. That would actually that would be really so interesting. interesting. Yep. With the, the dynamics mm, and who I'm, that could I'm, fill. Yep, because I'm, I'm waiting to see what Har- what Arkai's daughter is gonna introduce into the, the MCU. Well, here's the thing. I don't think, if you're talking about it from that perspective, I don't think that the young avengers are different from like another avenger Mm -hmm. team Team, right so you must be talking about the adult avengers versus the young avengers Avengers. the young avengers are going to have or possibly have Haley steinfeld her character right and that kid from um, that kid from hawk from um from winter soldier and the two and the twins from um wandavision so i mean it's clear that that, that's probably what's going to happen you know so at the end of the movie we had the post credit scene um, we saw Valentina. Um, she contest of Valentina. She appeared in front with um, with Yelena, and mm-hmm. was like, "Listen, we need this motherfucker be iced up." You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> you know, and when when you look when you when you when the camera pans, it was uh, it was Arkai. Mm-hmm. So there and then, you know that uh, you know Arkai and is uh, is on the um, horizon, mm-hmm. and of course that's going to introduce Arkai's daughter. Mm-hmm. Um, so this is gonna it's going to be pretty much interesting um, just to see another character enter the universe. You know what I mean? So yeah, I can't I can't wait for that. I'm not gonna lie to you, I wish they would have like shown like maybe her funeral instead. Yeah. And especially if they would have or even if it wasn't just a funeral, if it was Yelena and the two parents. Yeah, because that would have made to me I, I a lot more sense. I definitely and I would have been okay. And maybe even if Contessa would have been the background. Mm. This should not have been about Contessa and Yelena. This mm. should have been about a closure to Natasha. Yeah, because and it was it was a blown yeah, opportunity. It's, it's like she just died and just oh well. It, what's up? Exactly. Like it was so, a nice yeah, tombstone. I, I understand. I but you that. couldn't even be in that moment because Contessa came through and I'm just mm. like yeah. This definitely could have been about her parents and Yelena mm. mourning Natasha True. if it's not going to be a funeral. But yeah. overall, well, overall, um let me get into my let me tell you my good geek and my bad geek first. Uh well, for my good geek, I definitely like the appearance of Taskmaster. Um I think he I think she 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 did well. The and appearance. Yeah, the appearance. Okay. Just uh, just her being in the movie was was pretty much good. Um, Yelena's character, I enjoyed her. Her in the movie, she brought brought life into the movie mm-hmm. itself. Mm-hmm. Um, my bad geek actually is the fact that they didn't use Taskmaster um, much within the movie, okay. or uh, he wasn't the main. She wasn't the main villain. You keep on, saying, I keep on I saying, saying. God damn. And overall, I, I think I give it a, a solid three and a half out of five. Okay. The family aspect and the pacing. I was okay with it. Mm. I read that like people were like, oh, it was kind of boring. I was okay with the pacing. And I just really, 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 really loved the family aspect. Obviously, I love Yelena as well. Mm. My bad geeks, it was too little too late. Obviously, this is not about the movie itself, but again, more about Marvel. Marvel, y'all should have jumped on that shit. Don't do it again. I thought we were going to learn about Clint and and yeah. You was in my head for that. I, yeah. I really thought we were going to hear about that, see about <laughs> something. Or how she and um, Hawkeye got connected. That would have been okay too. Yeah. I would have been okay with that. that. I would have been okay with that. But like, again, <laughs> it was a solid movie, but it could have been better. So I'm going to give it a 3 out of 5 too. Oh, good. We both have it 3 out of 5. I mean, 3.5 3. 5 out, 5 out of 5. 5 out of 5. So, Which is good. Yeah. I'm about to say, it's not 60. But if you like what you see, mm-hmm. like, share, subscribe. Please. Let us know how you feel. And one more question, very quickly before we go. Who you think going to win? Black Widows mm. or the Dormelage? Mm. Who you think is going to win? That's a very Why don't y'all comment? Question. Explain. Let us wow. know in the comments. And with that, I'm Lainey. I'm Jay. We are Geek. 
by, by heart. heart. Mm, we'll see mm, you mm, next mm, time mm, on Geek mm, by mm, Heart. Mm, Peace. Mm, mm, Peace. Mm, mm.